You're hungry, you need to take a break from your game so that we can get something to eat. But you don't know about... You've been gaming for a while and you notice that you're starting to get hungry because you feel that rumbling in your tummy, tummy that... Why can't I talk today? Hey look, so all gamers across the board are going to get hungry at some point. We've been gaming for a while, we haven't eaten in a while, and we're hungry. We don't want a full-blown meal because who has time to go to the kitchen, get the ingredients, mix stuff up, and make a full-blown meal, wait for it to be done, wait for it to cool off, then cut it up, portion it right, serve it. Who has time for all that, right? But you don't want to go into the cupboard and grab a granola bar or a Nutri-Grain bar or, or whatever the case may be. You want something in between. So something I like to eat is hot Cheetos with Velveeta cheese, and not just any Velveeta cheese. I like to use the Mexican blend. Now this spicy alert. Just so you know, it is a little spicy. It's got a kick to it. Some might find it spicy and just right, and some might find it not spicy at all. But anyways, if spice is not something that's in your realm of eating, then this video probably isn't for you. But the rest of you, let's get to it. All right, so to get started, we're gonna start off with our Mexican Velveeta cheese. And I like to use the Mexican blend just because of the flavoring, our flaming Hot Cheetos, some milk, and a saucepan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our stove and we're gonna turn it on to almost medium heat, not quite, but just about medium. Now we're gonna put our saucepan on and wait for that to heat up. And we're gonna take our Mexican Velveeta cheese blend. I like it because it has a little bit more of a kick, a little bit more flavor. And for this, I'm only gonna use half a block. That's about how much I normally use anyway. Uh, I had already made some, so I still have half a block left. So just go ahead and take it out and place it inside your saucepan and uh, just wait for it to start slowly melting. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a spatula. At least I recommend a spatula, a uh, rubber spatula or plastic one, simply because it's able to conform to all edges and sides of the pan. And what you want to do is you want to mash it up so that way all the cheese can touch the surface and you have more surface area since that's a huge thick block of cheese. There we go, that should be good. Now all you got to do is just wait for it to melt. Now as it starts to melt, you're going to see it's going to smoke a little bit and that's okay. Just keep it moving, keep it stirring, that way none of it starts sticking in curdles and makes any crusties. And just, you wanna keep stirring it until all the lumps are gone. And right about here, it looks good. There's no lumps, it's all even, and it runs just fine. Now for some of you, this might be it for you, but remember, as this cheese cools down, it's gonna thicken. It's gonna get pretty thick. So if you like, that's how you like it, then you're done. But for me, I like it a little bit thinner, and so I go ahead and I add milk. So however much milk you wanna add is really on you. All of this is personal preference. But when you add milk, just make sure you add a little at a time because once you add milk in there, you can always add more to thin it out, but you can't thicken it up unless you add more cheese. So once you add the milk in there, just stir it and keep it going. It's gonna warm the milk up, and uh, you're eventually gonna start seeing it mix in with the cheese. And once it gets to about this point, you just want to keep mixing it until it's about this point right here. This is my preference of texture and consistency. And for me, I like to have it nice, goopy, and runny. Just like that. That's good enough for me. That looks good. So that's my preference. Yours might be a little bit different. Maybe a little bit more runny, maybe a little more thicker. So now, we're going to get our bowl. Not just any bowl, but I prefer to use a soup bowl. The reason why I like using a soup bowl is it's deep enough to hold all the Cheetos. So go ahead and pop open your bag of Cheetos and fill it up about however much you want. I prefer to do a little bit over half because I need to save some space for the cheese because for me, I like to stir it on there. So that's roughly about how much cheese I use. And now the finale. Just drizzle it on there. And man, does that look good. A nice creamy cheese, a lot of flavor, that Mexican blend, mixing in with the flaming Hot Cheeto flavor. Mm-mm. Looks good. And so, again, this is all to personal preference. Some of you might like this as it is, and that may, it might be complete for you. But for me, I like to simply just mix it around. Just lift up Cheetos and just mix it around, get that cheese nice inside of there, and just really get in all those cracks and everything. Mm-mm. And also, if you need more cheese, add more cheese. I like a lot of cheese. And what's really cool is I like mixing it so it gets that nice 
uh, chewy, crispy texture. It's nice and chewy on the outside, but still crispy in the middle. And so when it's all done, my preference, I like for the Cheetos to simply look like this right here. That's perfect for me. Now one final thing, the taste test. Mmm, mmm. Yep, that's amazing. So good. This was definitely a success. So now we can go back to gaming. And that's it. So hopefully this little recipe is something that you can add to your little arsenal of snacks. I know it doesn't look appetizing, but looks can be deceiving. So just give it a try. Give it a shot. You never know what you, what you might like. Don't knock it till you try it. And this is going to kick off my Gamer Grub series. I'm going to try to produce some type of Gamer Grub snacks and recipes for you. So we're kicking it off with these hot Cheetos and Velveeta cheese. The next video I'm going to come up with is my three ingredient cookies. I actually looked these up and they're pretty good and they're a little on the healthier side but it's not sacrificing flavor. Stick around for it in the future. I'm Speed Demon 8706. Have a great day.